right what's up everybody welcome to join Helsinki live a few days still in Helsinki and I'm gonna show you how Finnish people celebrate 1st of May also known as May Day and we in the historical district of uh, well going towards Kronohaka and uh, this place here is actually a uh, well this channel is eager in Russia and I have a Russian background so I love to share the Russian history you guys are welcome to join there's like five minutes and you can officially put the uh, the white hat what you call that Lucky in Finnish. You're gonna, we're gonna miss it a little bit. There's tens of thousands of people up ahead. So if uh, internet gets uh, distorted, I'm gonna walk away from the from the crowds. Guys, this is the only day where is uh, people equivalent to be named a crowd. Crowd is in Helsinki. Otherwise, there's never a crowd anywhere. So that's why it's a special day. Anyways, this is a May Day, Workers' Day, Students' Day, and uh, people are going out and celebrating, which is very unconventional, I think, for Finns. That's why it's interesting. Guys, join. This is Union Street, and it's named Union in Kato in, in the honor of the union between Russian and Finland. Grand Duchy of Finland, well, it became Grand Duchy of Finland and uh, it was a Russian Empire. So we're walking on Union Street. You're gonna see a lot of students in their coveralls and I'm gonna share some information as we go along. Hello, Re. Hello, Baron. So up ahead, there's tens of thousands of people gathered to uh, around the Amanda statue. This here is the first Orthodox Church of Helsinki. This is Holy Trinity Church. Really beautiful, guys. Let's put the white screen. We have a couple of beers, guys. Let's pop them up. People sitting on the stairs of the Holy, Holy, Holy Trinity Church. It's absolutely beautiful and historical. And this area here is actually, is called uh, unofficially Mini St. Petersburg. I would like to underline the word mini, but it's partially it has the similarities to St. Petersburg. For example, here. You see they run because at six, it's oh shit. Yes, and this is the day when I would say a huge portion of old beer didn't break. My hat mullakki on ihan päällä, päässä. I think, I think it's six o'clock. Let's get to the beautiful, uh, well, Tuomiokirkko. But you guys should also know that original name was, was Nicholas Street, uh, Nicholas Church, St. Nicholas Church. And it's designed According to, not according to, but influences from St. Isaac's Cathedral of St. Petersburg. We're gonna see Helsinki from the top. Guys, join the chat. Are we about to put the hat on the statue? I think they just did. The metro broke down, literally. I think you can put on a hat. Guys, is it six in Helsinki? I see no hats yet. And 
this area guys mini st petersburg you can see uh, alexander the second statue oh check it out Finish, finish dance. So the guys are dancing around, around the historical statue of of uh, Alexander the Second. Yes, we can put on the hat, guys. Yes, it's like 20 degrees, guys. They say in Finland, Hyvä Vappua. Happy first, happy first of May, May Day. So this is a graduation hat. And you can continue if you study forwards. So in special schools, you can get a special things attached to it. I have gone to the master's degree, but I don't have the stuff. Helsinki guys, but I don't know where's the thousands of people. I think they're on the Amanda Square, Amanda statue over there. Let's go closer guys, I'm gonna just pop the bottle so we can have something to drink. So yeah, it's six. Six seconds. This is what they do when they, they uh, put on the hats for the Amanda, they wave their hats. Check it out. This reminds me of St. Isaac's because I'm homesick. Push the likes, everybody. We're going, going to go through some of the historical... By the way, we have, we have, they have, we have still snow. Check it out. That is uh, snow, everybody. All right, guys, let's go down. Day. I'm gonna show you how Finnish people celebrate the uh, May Day, which is probably the biggest party event, I think. I would say so, yes. Unless Finland finish, unless Finland wins the ice hockey championship. A lot of drinking everywhere, guys. Everybody's drinking in public. And later on, also pissing in public. No joke. So we're going towards Alexander the Second and some students. No music. So guys, the coveralls are representing different uh, universities and different uh, study lines as well. People who are gathering the bottles are actually getting a big amount of money because you can get like 15 cents, 10 cents uh, a can. I guess you need some to add some music here. But yeah, and uh, every coverall or overall badge that they have is a memory or like achievement for certain events and all that stuff. Hello, Marie. Hello, Alex. Halidera. Yes, this is Alexander. This is kind of cool looking, guys. Ah, by the way, they have music. They have music in their earphones, so it's silent events for us. They have music in their, uh, in their earphones. There was some uh, music. There was some party clubs uh, sometimes. Maybe, maybe they are playing Opiskele uh, Elama by Igor. You see? Crazy stuff going on. Oh, 
she uh, her trousers. So everybody's guys, I'm sure pretty everybody's pretty drunk already. And yes, it's like six o'clock in uh, Helsinki. We're gonna continue on towards the uh, towards Bible Park. So yes, the, every coverall uh, color, more or less. There's some same com colors as well, but uh, there's some details then defining different universities. You know, they have the uh, traditional universities, like so-called academic universities. And these are also used, these coveralls are also used among the uh, University of Applied Sciences. So uh, what else? So these originated officially from Sweden back in the day. Where are they going? They're gonna do something. So, uh, so yes, uh, originated from Sweden, I think. But in Finland, they become the first usage was in the 50s and 60s when they were building Otaniemi, Otaniemi University campus area because certain students wore uh, they wore these as a uh, you know students of uh, construction use them for uh, as they're like well working coveralls you know yeah catching some good stuff guys <laughs> yes they look like a bunch of npcs and there's no music oh my god this is so 2012. That's the DJ guys. Play, uh, definitely my music there. So yes, so they got more and more popular in the 80s and 90s among academic uh, universities and later on expanding towards universities of applied sciences in, in, since 1992. So that's why this is a very special thing guys. And this is not something they wear during the uh, in the studies. This is like the party event or like three times of the studies. I'm sure you can use it on campus as well. with the 2012 it but cool looking guys and great idea and we're gonna continue towards the uh towards the um and then the statue let's see what's life like i i'm amazed there's so little people because maybe because amanda statue is under construction or renovation so maybe just maybe it's not in use and that's why people did not cover uh, around it otherwise you can see in something you can easily google you can see like tens of thousands which is for helsinki a lot but uh you know anyways welcome guys i'm igor we're gonna continue in helsinki guys let's go may day of 2024 really special event in finland Alcohol has no role in this whole thing. Hey, 
Lars Wilson, hit the like button. Thank you. Rami Rohomaki, hi. So this is Sito. Man, I cannot read what they represent. But these definitely, I see some tech. Uh, these are academic university people. I can see based on the coveralls. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am sort of an expert. All right, we're not going to continue with them. They're going to have some events. They're going to attack the police car. Some drunken activity. So, which is fine for Finland, but not necessarily elsewhere. People are just mad drunk, especially today doing some different stuff which is awesome because Finnish are not acting Finnish so to speak you see now they're gonna jump as well you see that she's getting ready to jump and yes guys this is still ice this is ice all right guys this here is a lot of historical background dating back to the Russian era we're not gonna do the historical tour once again just gonna tell you that as you can see no wonder they call this mini St. Petersburg this is basically a little sized St. Petersburg district making great some memories for for some I think Chinese tourists yes Tuomio Kirk, also known as before Finnish independence as Nico, Nicholas Church, and it's the, and it was though a Lutheran church because the other church we might see a piece of there that is Russian and beautiful. That's uh, over there. We're gonna go there maybe. That's the uh, Uspensky Cathedral, which is Orthodox. Welcome everybody. Captivating moments. But I gotta tell you, it's maybe 90% uh, less crowded than I expected. And I think it has to do with the fact that the uh, Amanda, by the way, this is Alexander Street in the honor of Alexander I and maybe second, the Central Street. And this is also Russian based street. This is Sophia Street. I think uh, she was a mother of some Tsar or a sister, not sure. You have to check out my video because I made a video showing all of these uh, Finnish Russian streets. But, anyways, um, I think the, because the Amanda statue is not, is not being, uh, it's still renovated, so they are not actually putting uh, the, uh, the hat the uh, graduation hat on so there's no people here because usually that's the main event Igor are you also tomorrow in Helsinki Centrum I'm not sure I'm not sure because I have stuff to do and guys this is the moment I can tell you uh, it's been uh, I've been to Istanbul I made some I've been editing some videos from Istanbul. I have another channel that I'm promoting, but I gotta tell you that um, I'm finally going to Russia, St. Petersburg, Moscow, and many places that I been, can't wait to get to. Yes, tomorrow is the May Day. Today is the May Day Eve, but today is the, uh, you can see a lot of action here. People are getting more crazy, and tomorrow, a bit different kind of day people are going to for picnics but yes as Finland as Finland goes as it's normal in Finland alcohol has a uh, role also tomorrow you can see the champagne uh, uh, what you call those balloons in the window hello Lars yes it's closed that's why there's nobody here but guys it's super hot Super hot, so we gotta take off the uh, the jacket. Let's go along. Let's just go towards the uh, towards the uh, Kaiba Park and the Russian Embassy as well. It's a nice mixture of Russian and Finnish at the channel. Hello, Gloria. Man, I gotta get off my jacket. It's 
super hot. Geo Lord, hello. So the situation with the border is that in Finland, well, it's normally, normally, unnormally, normally closed, as it were. So uh, Narva, starting tomorrow, is open from uh, s uh, 7 a.m. Toward, towards the, until uh, 11 or 10, I think it was 11, maybe 10. 10. Let's go say hi to uh, Russian Empress's uh, memorial. Alright guys, in the back. behind this uh, white truck you can see Uspensky Cathedral man it's I gotta tell you this is the first Bapu May Day Eve which is so cool this is so weird all right that guys is one of the greatest buildings uh, architecturally and historically Kuspensky Cathedral and this guys you're gonna see a glimpse of a beautiful Russian double-headed eagle right in front of the Sweden's Sweden's uh, what is that called Sweden's Embassy uh, or is it yeah it's Sweden's Embassy This here is a, is a market for basically mostly tourists because everything is super touristy here. But I guess you can buy some muiko, some fish and stuff. And this is where you leave off to Sverborg, which has beautiful uh, Swedish, Russian, Finnish history. Anyways, guys, check it out. I forgot the year that Empress Alexandra visited this place. And she arrived more or less towards in this location, came off the boat, and uh, this is why it stands here. All right, and that is their actually president, uh, president's castle. It used, used to be Emperor's Castle. Right, guys, hold up. Let me do something. We need to uh, get a drink because it's super hot. We're gonna continue towards the Kaivo Park, which has also, believe it or not, Russian history. But, anyways, that's. I'm not underlining it, it's just the fact. No matter where you go, it all has. It all dates back to Russian rule influence yes and Heike says correctly oh those guys are going far check it out that's the cube building of Alvaraldo I think they are heading that way Channel, remember you can use super chat super chat for my next trips can't wait for some new uh, live streams from Russia
right guys we're ready to move guys thank you well cheers bro cheers cheers with the beers so this hat is actually pretty hot it's uh, check it out you can see because it's like a plastic here but it's like well not plastic it's uh, it's leather and these are very pricey go closer to 100 bucks nowadays all right guys we are moving on welcome to uh helsinki mayday mayday stream i was gifted a membership by heike pekkanen we was gifted hey thank you heike for uh membership gifting and thank you so much we're gonna continue towards Kaiva Pusto. Let's go. I'm gonna tell you some history. Maybe you can ask also some questions regarding Russia, regarding Finland, uh, whatever I know. I will tell you if I if I want to. Let's see if we will continue towards towards the beautiful Uspensky Cathedral. But uh, I think we're gonna go to Kaiva Pusto, which is the uh, the main spot today, but especially tomorrow. Testing out my new gimbal. So many beautiful Russian, Russian empresses statue. I love this place. Everything reminding me of Russia. It's dear to me. So people are students dress up. Yes, they have some food over here, but now it's actually closing time already. But uh, I wouldn't buy here unless unless there's a unless you must. So, yeah, students dress up in their student coveralls, also known as overalls. Uh, people who uh, usually bring their uh, university uh, graduation hats, like me. And this applies also for tomorrow because tomorrow is the main day but today is basically all the rough parties if you know what i mean so people also put some uh, different kinds of stuff uh you know some balloons for kids and uh putting on some uh, uh you know hold up he's picking up some trash and you can see this by the way in finland a lot people actually uh <laughs> Some people gather recycled uh, bo bottles for recycling and getting their money. You can see we have some uh, thematics, different themes that people dress up. Beautiful, by the way. Finland has beautiful uh, shoreline, especially Helsinki, Turku, uh, what else, Kotka. Beautiful uh, shorelines. Yes, we are now walking towards, if you arrive from uh, Bicilia Line from Sweden, which is a boat cruise, you're gonna go uh, this route on a tram or by walking. Are they immigrants? Uh, there are immigrants and, uh, ah, you, you mean the ones who gather the bottles? Yes, they are, but not only. Uh, some shady people or, you know, people who are Maybe a drug users or 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 just broke. They gather. I see very often some uh, old elderly people, like uh, you know, like the. Uh, hold on, let's go through here. Unfortunately, some elderly people. Quite often, I can see they're giving out the uh, gatherings and bottles, and I don't see that in Russia. I can see only them it's like super super people who are in very bad situation i've seen some gatherings and bottles but otherwise not all right uh helsinki has like uh i think two or three of these uh 
shopping halls, not malls, shopping halls, Kauppahall. And these are from the Swedish, are they from the Swedish era? Anyway, they're old. And basically, you can usually have some, uh, if you like cheeses, not Jesus, cheese, cheeses. And that's the place to get some like super, super brands and stuff. Some extra, you know, and it has an, its own uh, atmosphere. Not big a fan of that, those, that actually. That's the uh, place you can get on. Overpriced ride. Okay. But otherwise, from this side, you can see there's no ship anymore right now, but there's a ship and also on the other side. They're both left to uh, uh, Sweden. And the different terminal uh, is the one not here, closer to Roholati in Jatkasari, Jatka Island. That's the place where they leave towards the uh, um, towards the uh, Estonia. Anyway, guys, welcome everybody who is here. No future for humankind. Yes, Africa. Daria, welcome. Copenhagen tomorrow is the big day. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, I've experienced. I've been a student for a long time. I've, uh, contributed to the culture to say the least and this is not normal some I don't know it's because probably uh, the Amanda statue is the main thing and now that it's un it was under renovation there was no head to put the hat to hat on the uh, the graduation hat this one so I think that's why Many tens of thousands did not uh, attend the event. So, uh, but guys, which is very, you know, you guys been saying, those who watch my streams from Russia, St. Petersburg, and uh, I like to sometimes, if I have a good atmosphere or for atmosphere, I get the, uh, I open up a bottle of beer, which in Russia is a no-no. And here, now you can see actually, most of people drink something police don't care uh, not even today like in normal times it's not a big deal even though it is illegal as well as here so now you maybe understand me better on my russian live streams right and in finland it's very often it feels weird to be standing in the traffic lights there's absolutely no traffic. All right, so we can go by the, uh, the port is over here, one of them, the other one is over there. But I think we're gonna go through this beautiful park over here. We're gonna see Helsinki from a uh, from more rare uh, point of view. And which is dear to me, we're gonna go to uh, go past the Russian embassy. So push likes everybody, I'm showing you the real, real world. I'm not sure in the numbers, but uh, there's a lot of refugees and immigrants. I think mostly immigrant, uh, refugees from Africa. There's a lot of uh, Arabs, uh, Kurds, uh, then there's a, uh, what else? There are, uh, percentually, it's not a lot, but for Finland, because they tend to live in the certain cities or areas. For example, there's a special place in, uh, in the east, whereas basically, if you go to this, it used to be Europe's biggest, uh, North Europe's, Northern Europe's biggest shopping mall, Itakeskus, it is. Roughly 70% are uh, foreigners, foreign ba background. <coughs> Beautiful, right? I think, if we go through the park, 
I promised you the view. Guys, let me know in the comments. Should we go through the park or toward the same destination through between the streets? Let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna go towards the by the park or through the city. I'm waiting for you guys to comment. No comments. Come on, guys. I think there's a, like a, a minute or so uh, difference between the live stream and you actually me speaking and you actually hearing it. It's like a Janet Jackson moment. You know what I mean? Guys, I don't see any comments where to go. I would rather go through the town though. First comments arrive, park one, streets, the few streets that's left, zero, any more. All right. Hold up, I'm gonna check out that the live stream is still working. All right, park, park, park. Do you speak Swedish? I speak a little bit Swedish. Moving on, guys, moving on. We're going through the park. I don't know the name of it. I'm gonna tell you in a second, if you care. But uh, Helsinki has a lot of these barrack type buildings from the history also church buildings. Uh, they have roots in the, uh, in the first Finnish army formed by Russia uh, and partially then uh, eliminated that army and it became part of Russian army so they have Russian background. But not this building here exactly. There's a separate area, I think it's Gartinkaupunki or what you call it behind that it's really beautiful you can sense if you've been to, with me to Kronstadt which is Russia's military city by the St. Petersburg you can see the similarities there all right we're gonna go up you're gonna see the beautiful beautiful uh, what you call it Gulf of Finland problem with the commentaries now by the way Jimmy said streets we're gonna go back through the streets Baron says I cannot get my stuff done you can come and enjoy listening to you Nari. no problem man but there's a problem with my comment section so I'm gonna check out from time to time on my other phone older phone what's going on so bear with me guys so we're going up up, up and up, until we reach the, uh, we're gonna go past the Russian embassy. Because it's a beautiful Soviet building, Stalin is there a building. Somebody asked if I speak Swedish. There's la, like a officially 4% Swedish Finns. And, uh, like nine percent who speak Finnish and Swedish. Swedish. So uh, there's some parties going on. So they actually, you see, public pissing has started, guys. I'm not gonna show you, but it's in the back. Something that I would not see in any civilized country, but <laughs> just a glimpse, so to speak, of this uh, behavior, which is normal. And another person coming from the from the park pissing so that's a big no-no in uh anywhere else in russia i've done it only when my bladder was about to explode like that was my last resort but otherwise i won't do it 
saying that makes me feel like a better person. All right, let's see how many people are watching because I cannot see no updates for my... Tommy and Kelly Herman. What's up, my amazing brother, Igor? Hello, welcome. We're doing good. Soon in, soon in Russia, soon to Moscow. Cannot wait. Go to a place what can see many times and all finished movies. Which one is it? So there's like event over there, guys. But I want to see the, the city from the side. Can you believe it? I was here last time, like maybe uh, I was in a... Uh, it was in 2011. I think it was 11. The lady's butt is showing. People are drunk. Drunk, drunk, drunk. So yeah, I was actually on this part over here. So check it out. No wind tonight. I'm not sure what this is about. Maybe uh, it's a May Day, Finnish May Day celebration. Picturing the May Day celebration after hours. Just kidding. Check it out, guys. Taking some questions in us. So you can actually come here and enjoy the view from this. You get a private seat there if you want. This is the, actually the port, Olymp Olympic port. And that's the beautiful sea. Gulf of Finland, guys. And that's the other, other port right across us. Yes, this is the spot. Good. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll continue. So I'm amazed how little people, so little amount of people are out. But this district is really beautiful. We are not far from probably the most expensive area, Ullanlinna. Helsinki. Ulla is a name, and Linna is a castle. Ulla's castle. Just look at this, it already begins. There's a lot of embassies in the area from this on forward. American, we might, do you guys want to see American embassy? One time I was filming the actual, the statue, Russian statue, which is right next to America's uh, uh, I did not know it's the embassy. Anyways, I was filming, preparing my camera for uh, filming the uh, beautiful historical statue. And there was shouting on the... that leave the premises. I was like, what the f... f uh, guys, this is my hood. You leave. It's a big flag. Is that Ukrainian embassy? Did they have one? I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna show you this, guys. Because there's a, the title of the video is, at least for now, people getting crazy in Finland. So this is, uh, this is what's going on. A lot of trash, and this is little nothing yet. Toilets are here. more beer but I uh, cannot handle right now this might be a checkpoint for some student uh, organization see everybody's wearing the hats there are newbies the hats are fresh and white all right guys we're going down down, down, down. So how do you 
like to see you guys a little bit different. I thought like, hey, I can show you more stuff than only Russia, even though Russia means the most to me, but I guess I can be more entertaining. Welcome everybody. Please push like. If you want to support the channel, push. Uh, uh, you can become a member or most easily comment with a super chat. That would be highly appreciated. Just checking out some questions. Great view, said Gloria. Yes, at least the roads are smooth. Nice stream, Daria says. Thank you. We're going towards Russian. We're going towards the Russian embassy, which is in front of me. Building is Russia. Russia, da 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 da. Russia, da 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 da. This is the back side of it, but it's a beautiful area. Just beautiful. Well, I would not live here. I would. I want to live in St. Petersburg, but. For Helsinki, great place. I think I've been into this building once in my younger days. I think there was a crazy party in some of these buildings. No joke. So that up ahead is Kaivopoista. Kaivo Park and it used to be a historical place where people used to before this all this it used to be a place where uh, people went for spa uh, during Crimean War in 1850s the internal borders of Russia Finland including yes they had uh, there was no possibility to travel abroad so uh, they started creating spas around Finland Turku uh, I think maybe Kotka, uh, Helsinki. So people arrive before trains, people arrive, so you're gonna see it later by boats. And even Nikolai I had some shares. He had shares invested in this spa. And mostly Russian tourists came here already back then in the 18, late 1850s. And you're gonna see some stuff there. This is the uh, Russian embassy, guys. It has a, a Soviet a Soviet symbol in front of it. We're gonna see it in a bit. But <laughs> I was not clickbaiting you. I'm not Ivan. This was supposed to be crazy play day of people drinking. This is second day when it's hot and warm. But for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I, I blame the, the fact that there is no, uh, there is no uh, the, uh, the Amanda statue event uh, like it was yet before. But otherwise we wouldn't see in the we would lose, lose the internet probably. All right, guys, let's go in front of it. And I've explored the Russian Helsinki guys, so I know a lot because for example, this here, this is a Catholic church, Polish Catholic church. And it was built by the Russian empire uh, for Polish soldiers stationed in Finland back in the day in the 1800s this year and I want one walked inside and show you so it's funny how people I like, know are our lambs basically and uh, continue saying all kinds of bullshit when a lot of this fact the fact that there's so many the fact that you know about Helsinki is uh, Russian Russian uh, Influence. Let's go towards this place here. Right. 
see if do we have some questions and comments. watching our hats white while they are on your head or while daylight is fading they are super white when you get one they're super white when you get one and uh, by time just like coveralls which are you're not supposed to uh, which are you are not supposed to uh, wash ever so they become darker and darker and that's like a good thing all right check it out this is awesome location here this is Russian embassy we got a Russian flag there and uh, the Soviet beautiful Soviet symbol how cool is that all right let's go towards these are all uh, Russian embassy buildings and um, we're gonna go towards the Kaiba Park, guys. Otherwise, it's way too much, right? Um, I don't know who's Amanda, by the way. I, I, I quite frankly, there's few things I care about. <laughs> I never dare to. I don't, I'm not sure, actually. Check out Amanda statue, Helsinki. Please write your comments. I don't know. Thank you, Ree. Happy May Day to all of you. Thank you, Ree, and you too. And thanks for joining. Great to have some mods here. Ree and Dario. Right. Ilaus Ayo, that's uh, extra buses. I think they're extra buses. Or, no, no, these are, there's a, you see, they're hitting the buses. They're partying inside. It's a bus, bus uh, event, and uh, you probably didn't see it. But student events sometimes have this stuff where they um, order the like a tram or a bus and have like a private party. And this is the Polish Catholic built by the Russian Empire, which probably most of you people don't know. Church of St. Henrik. So you see there's policemen, policemen here, but there's, I don't know where, where are all the people. I don't know where are all the people. So here starts the Kaiva Park. And these are police and civilian car, by the way. They were in uniforms. It's my universe, old university. Very little amount of people. But tomorrow, <coughs> we're gonna see more. I'm gonna come here with my wife to check out. Maybe drink a champagne, it's a Finnish custom. Maria, just, oh my God. Maria, I'm so, Saddened to hear that. I hope uh, I sending you um, all the best, which is possible to you and your family. Wow, such a such a sad news. So this here, guys, is. Uh, Kaivo one. It's called. Uh, I've also covered it, and I got a unique entrance onto the top of the roof and inside. So this place, I have to tell you, is. Uh, this was for the spa guests, uh, a room for spa guests for after parties. You know, rich people arrive from St. Petersburg, etc. And guys, these are places for tomorrow. So. Four people can take a leak standing in public just like this. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I lived all for, long, for so long over here, so it's okay for me. But uh, now that I'm uh, got to know more civilized countries, <laughs> that's why I'm saying this is 
quite absurd. So yeah, you just piss over here and you might have a friend, friend or nobody on the left and to the right and in front of you. And people will be walking around you guys in public with their kids, the ladies, elderly people. What you say about that? I wanna, I wanna know your opinion. So yeah, here's the information about the Amanda statue. One of the main symbols of Helsinki is the nymph fountain. Nymph. The market square, Havis Amanda, shameless Amanda. They say that the sculptor turned Amanda backwards to the building, the owner of which did not pay the sculptor. Pay the sculptor. On Valpurgis night, the night of April 30th, so today, the eve of May Day. According to the dish, Amanda students wash their soap. Yes, and the students is a... Uh, it's it's an honor given mostly among be only among academic university uh, student organizations. It's uh, they they shift the uh, the honor so to speak. Right, we have some policemen on horses, but there's nobody here. There's nobody here. Can you imagine? People are having fun when you're drunk. Guys, this is Kaivohone, the legendary. Even the Tsar was here. And uh, uh, in Finland, Helsinki had the organized the... Uh, what's the event? Uh, the World Exhibition event in 18, uh, late 1800s during the Alexander III. It was organized here. And only Russia, even though they didn't have to, they gave Finland their own booth, separate booth, where they've represented their uh, craftsmen, craftsmen, uh, no, craftsmen and stuff, craftsmen work, etc. So Alexander III and his wife uh, arrived here, and uh, they will spend time here. And I think they were also inside this building, which is a historical building. Yes, actually, there's a. Uh, information as well yes designed by Engel 1838 and read uh, built it uh, expanded in 1897 by architect Theodor Heuer yes All right let's go see some police what did they say they're asking papers Because if they're kids, they're gonna check your bags if you have alcohol. You see? Now check it out. In the ages, you have age. It's basically age restricted business. There's a lot of drinking going on in the area, and they walk in and they're holding some beers and ciders. I guess it's a good thing. All right, guys. So this usually it used to be packed. You know, packed. Can you imagine packed? But tomorrow it will be packed. So I'm gonna maybe send some po photos and stuff. Check out how many people are watching the stream, guys. Let's go forward. Yes. Hey, sorry. Ah. You got uh, some kind of a special salt, something that uh, gives you a buzz or something. Oh my God, what is it? Is that a drug use, guys? What is it? Amanda is technically protected, so I don't think nobody is rubbing anything. So the, the, all of this, can you imagine for Finland, even this is a lot of people, but can you imagine all of this place is from, especially from my right, it's packed with people, like packed, yes, endless amount of people, probably like, uh, it's crazy. Let's go up, guys. You're going to see once again a beautiful, beautiful view. The spa was over there. Well, let's see if we go towards that uh, that place in a bit. Let's 
So this is, the spa was there by the way, the Russian, well Russian, it was Finnish owned but it's for, uh, especially for Russian uh, tourists from St. Petersburg, the capital of the empire. So they built this road over here connecting people towards this Kaivohona which used to be like the party area. And this place here, there's a lot of mansions and even the one of the richest families in Russia, Yusupov family's member had a place over here. So yeah. Really amazing story. There's a lot of activities tomorrow, a lot of music playing. People have their own like uh, tents with uh, tons of music. Some trees, old trees are protected here because so many people gonna do some well when there's a lot of people drunk you know even that one is enough when there's thousands of them you know stuff can happen maybe it's just drugs says alex i think it might have been everybody welcome push likes push likes <laughs> All of those bottles, right? So we guys are going up. Laura, University of Applied Sciences students. It's a, a Hagahelian student. And yes, a lot of picnicking and uh, people making, uh, you know, grilling some food and, uh, and a lot of student associations also. Uh, they also. Uh, you know, they have these tents with uh, and provide some beverages, music DJs, even sauna is brought here. So there's actually already some, even today, there is some uh, music playing. How's DJ? Some crazy techno. This is, uh, I think it's an observatorium, right? So there was a design, I'm not sure but designed by who, but anyways, historical building as well. On the top of Kaiba Hone, everybody. Uh, Kaiba Hone, Kaiba Park, Kaiba Puista. So, all of this, this is one of the best views you're gonna see tomorrow if the weather is fine. All of this is filled with white, uh, white uh, hats. Oh, wow, Pamela. Pamela Fischek, 50 Canadians. Thank you so much for your support. I'll do one better than likes. You did 50 better than likes. Thank you so much for your support. And this, uh, because of that, I'm gonna show you an extraordinary view. Extraordinary view, guys. This is one of the greatest views in Helsinki, I think. But thank you, Pamela, and you guys, if you wanna support the channel, you can do like Pamela did. Thank you so much. That helps my trips, upcoming trips.
So there's a public toilet, uh, quite a few, but uh, that doesn't stop people from uh, doing what they need to do. A lot of drinking going on. So I guess you're gonna see what you what I was promised. Hello, TW. Hello, Jimmy. Guys, check it out. Here we are. The amazing view. You can actually see all the Sverborg uh, Fortress, uh, uh, Sverborg Fortress Islands, etc. But uh, let's go a bit closer. That has some batteries. That's part of the uh, Svelborg Fortress, that island over there. Just look at this. here in Finland with all these Finnish people enjoying the May Day Eve to check out the city side. Definitely shoreline is Helsinki is one of the best stuff things it has to offer and so people everywhere they are what well, people are you can see people enjoying the uh, during the especially if it's uh, warm like now people enjoy themselves on the uh, on the rocks so this here somewhere here is the actually uh, uh, a special a special uh, mine steps that are mined, you know, into the rock where people used to walk downstairs from the, the spa, the spa people. Igor will buy a factory moonshine in Russia called Rustik or Narachansky of a muddy look in the store Krasne and Biele and descends into the dark quarters of St. Petersburg. Artyom, thank you for the beautiful, beautiful words. All right, guys, let's continue. So if you have weird hats, not the white hats, if you have some weird hats, this is the day for you to bring them out and tomorrow tomorrow especially by the way so yeah people gather a lot of these recycled bottles they're gonna get a lot of euros for sure guys welcome everybody to helsinki mayday eve so more and more people are arriving so we're just in time I was right. Oh yeah, jump song. Van Halen. So guys, if you're just joining in, this is Igor in Russia and I'm in Helsinki. And this is uh, Mayday Eve, and I'm showing you guys how Finnish people enjoy Mayday Eve. Push likes, subscribe, and support with the super chats. We continue our trip as more and more people are joining in this uh, in the epicenter of the celebrations.
Cheers, everybody. Happy May Day around the world. Let's go a little bit further. So guys, by the way, this uh, graduation hats, as you can see, a lot of fresh ones and they are usually young because you get these hats after the gymnasium. The standard version you get after gymnasium, which is 12 classes in Finland. We are right behind the DJ. That's the Gulf of Finland, guys. And that's already, guys, part of uh, Sverborg Castle. Check it out. Sverborg Castle was initiated by the Swedish army. It surrendered to Russia in 1809. And uh, Russia continued developing these islands into eight, I think, eight islands. And also, during the First World War and before it, into 300 defense stations all across Helsinki and current Espo and Vanta cities. And if you didn't know, I've actually covered all of them. I have walked on my other channel, all of them. Lars Wilson, race stream. We can continue a bit more, no problem. Uh, Pamela is wondering uh, how many Russians are celebrating with Finns. Well, uh, in this type of way, uh, in this type of way, like getting drunk during the day, I don't think that many, but a substantial amount. And if you're like part of, uh, if you have uh, Finnish uh, surrounding, if you're a student, for example, then probably, probably. Uh, there's even more possibilities for you to celebrate just like this and there's nothing wrong I love it actually there's nothing wrong even though I might have been saying a little bit critically some stuff but now it's because I have gained so much information and found and find St. Petersburg as my home so I always do comparison which is good which is bad you know some people are annoyed because of that all right guys Let's continue. Let's continue from this part over here. I think we could go to the. Let's go downstairs and go back here and walk towards the city. I think they'll do that. Because uh, I'm going to show you the platform of the historic spa. It's beautiful. And it's just beautiful, guys. It's just simply beautiful. I'm also uh, preparing my my uh, testing out my new gimbal, which I was supposed, which I had to buy because the other one, the other one's battery, the other one's battery just basically is not valid anymore. It uh, lasts like uh, maybe uh, it's supposed to last maybe uh, three hours stream, four max. But now it lasts like 30 minutes and dies. So I had to buy a new one. So thanks guys for watching my videos. So I'm testing it out because once I get to St. Petersburg, I don't want to, you know, I want to know how this new gimbal works. So 
sofa, anywhere where you can sit, people sit. And because of the coveralls, it's easy for people to, uh, it's easy for people just to not care about their clothes. That's how it works, actually. It used to be like super horrible weather just a few days ago, maybe a week ago it was raining, uh, it was snowing and now May Day has been saved. And tomorrow all these place off gonna be if it, the weather is like this, anywhere you go it's gonna be full of people. Guys, if you could keep on continuing supporting the channel, I might show you tomorrow how it looks like. Let's see. It's work though, you know. So this one arrives from um I think it arrives from Estonia, yes. One of the three uh, cruise lines that travel between Helsinki and Estonia. And that's how I travel towards the uh, Tallinn nowadays, because I must. And yes, push likes everybody. You get in a real view from Helsinki and I could do more of these I just never thought about them before hello lady T well I wouldn't say they were supposed to be I was supposed to show you something crazy but no nothing crazy crazy or times are changing or what just check this out we can do some crazy explorations and go to Sveaborg etc guys and these are called American uh, Hanhi. What is Hanhi? I love them, but people don't love them because they shit everywhere. And they're actually... <laughs> they can be uh, aggressive as well. Super video, merci. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Please teach me some French. Hey, what are you laughing, crying about? Hey, happy May Day. So guys, this is amazing view of the Gulf of Finland. Um, this car could be actually, even though if they might be preparing for tomorrow or they might be civilian cops because for example, over here somewhere is a bun uh, usually, typically, there used to be a Benji. Is it a Benji jump? Jumping event. Pay like 50 bucks and you jump. Do you want me to do it with the camera? But uh, people don't care that much about people drinking, guys. I'm telling you. Not normally unless it's like uh, bad behavior especially when during these type of days man i really need to go to a toilet do you guys want me to use that uh, orange thing over there i showed you before so that over there is Sverborg islands I think he spoke, spoke Turkish. I think I love Turkish language. It's simply awesome. So guys, this is used to be the original uh, dock of the spa. So the spa used to be somewhere here. I think it might have been here. So it's no more longer here. They destroyed it area used to be here connecting as you can see a straight connection towards the the uh the kaiba huone uh, club clubhouse this is a popular we're gonna go there in a bit let's drink this beer away and continue towards the dock
don't you want to introduce some ladies? About what? I lived all my life here. I don't know. What you guys want to hear? I knew it. Russian ladies want this picture taken, so they were Russian. Beautiful, right? Let's do this. Guys, do you want me to continue? Let me know in the comments. Check it out. The beautiful... My favorite Sverborg. This tall building used to be one-third of Alexander Nevsky, hold up, Alexander Nevsky, Russian Orthodox Cathedral for the soldiers of Sverborg. Hold up, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. And Lutheran Church, because of their traditions, they basically destroyed it and made it into what it is right now. But that's for another time, guys. I also have a video about it though on my channel. So these guys found an excellent location. location at the end of the old spa of the Russian Imperial times and I'm not gonna be I don't want to be you know uh, starting starting shit up so just gonna go these, all of these islands are were a part of the defense lines of uh, Sink during the Russian times. Two boats, the little one and the big one, cruise ship. All right, guys, we're going to continue just a little bit more into the uh, Kaiba Park and maybe or the American Embassy. Let's see. Uh, right now, we're just enjoying the day. Cheers, and let's go. Guys, what you think about live streams and videos from abroad? Not necessarily with a Russian theme, even though if I know something connecting points, I will tell them. But what you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. It's nice to hear a Finnish language says lady, she's Finnish. do something special guys. Hold up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go to a toilet, but I don't feel comfortable there's like kids. No matter how thin how finished this place is. You know, 
this is what I'm talking about. It's like this orange thing is for pissing. This is for pissing, and I'm supposed to go here, take my thing out while there's kids playing. Sorry, it just doesn't it doesn't work on me. And I'm happy to say I won't do it. So I'm gonna. You have to wait for a second. I'm gonna use the toilet, which is real toilet in front of me. Hold up, please, and uh, stay tuned. Hold up. How do you? Don't go anywhere. I'm just saying, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in it just in a second. Hold up. All right, guys, we're back in action. I'm gonna charge my phone. Guys, some people dropped off, but it's normal. I do everything myself, so what can I do? Right? said Anakin Skywalker in the episode one. All right, guys, we continue through Kaiva Park back to, let's see where we end up, but uh, we're gonna go forward. Please, everybody support the channel. I have a trip coming up to uh, St. Petersburg, finally back to Russia in a few days. Uh, then also Moscow. Uh, it's gonna be intense. I'm gonna meet some friends. We're gonna make some live streams. We're gonna make some new videos. So stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna go now. Oh, check it out. There's a fire truck. Just a fire truck. We're gonna go through the. Um, through the park, everybody. So yes, if you're just joining in, this is Helsinki, this is Finland, and today is the May Day Eve, which is a big event in, uh, in Finland. Uh, you're gonna see today and tomorrow, thousands, tens of thousands of people on the streets enjoying like they never do otherwise. 
people are loud, obnoxious, drunk, lots of people drunk, lots of students everywhere. You're gonna see some student coveralls. So, you know, that's what is happening. These hats are gymnasium, well, graduation hats from, from gymnasium, gymnasium era. All right, we're gonna go now. This is the street, by the way, the rare streets where people actually just uh, drive around to make an impression. This is the street to do it, check it out. Beautiful car. Yo, really nice. And some other cars, but this is a winner. And the American ducks over there on the left behind the toilets. I think actually we won't go through the park. We're gonna continue by the embankment because it's just beautiful and we're gonna see the American embassy. What is that by the way? Is that this British embassy, right? Anyway, the most well he's standing on the car. And it says Baku Auto. Baku car. This is a cool car. Nobody cares. The brake. We're gonna break the car. Alright guys, let's go. So this is the park where tomorrow is gonna be a lot of action. And today already people are getting more and more. And check out these cars, classic cars. Yes. This is uh, Helsinki's classical place, uh, Cafe Ursula. <laughs> and yes, in Finland, I, I joke it, I joke about it, but it's ridiculous. Everything is closed. Everything is always closed. You know, a lot of people there in celebration, we are closing down. For many reasons. Sometimes, well, I don't know. I don't want to get into that. We're gonna see a Russian gift to Finland in this uh, next few minutes. Keep joining, push likes, everybody. Beautiful animals here. Volkswagen. check it out there's a police car blocking this entrance not blocking but making sure watching over the entrance to the the streets with many embassies and on my right side you can see this beautiful Gulf of Finland but uh, the American embassy is on this side as well unfortunately check it out Beautiful Sverborg Island. Islands. Oi, there it is. I think they're also standing there in case people are like driving over the speed limit, you know. Check out my battery. 
battery still charging. It is. This is nice. This is one of the finest views I think of Helsinki over here. Not comparable to uh, Never River embankments. Oops. But still great. Hold up. Maybe I should just pull up. So I had shot carrying this huge power bank, guys. I'm uh, getting more professional. I'm gonna do some live streams from Moscow. So in Moscow, you can stream for for as long as you like, and it won't be enough. But uh, so I need to have this mega charger, simply mega. Let's see if we can travel like uh, annoy the American embassy by standing standing in a free ground. Come check it out, guys. Can you see that ship? Wow. I think that is, is that Hakka Niemi? That's Hertha Niemi, by the way. Not many people wearing the uh, the uh, this graduation hats at all. All of these buildings are probably partially a rich, 100% rich people's, or they are like the embassies. This is the back door of the American embassy, I think. Beautiful, right? We see some white hats and student coveralls. That over there is a special uh, restaurant. You can travel there only by uh, by a boat. Yes, my partner. Yes, this is yeah, this is America. Check it out. America, huge CIA agency. They're claiming that you cannot film, but as a citizen. So right there, they are trying to trying to uh, pinch uh, push neighbors against each other and doing a great job at it so we are not actually filming that we are filming the the russian statue to helsinki all vehicles are subject to inspection i will tell them i know my rights Am I free to go? <laughs> Artyom says that in Russia, on May holidays, and yes, in Russia they call May holidays, there's like uh, starting off from this day towards all the way to, uh, I think, Victory Day and further, there's like uh, almost two weeks of uh, holidays. So Russians have a uh, tra tradition to grill shashliks, countryside and grill shashliks. Uh, I'm not invited to countryside, but I would love to go to. If some Russians would invite me, I would go to and make a stream, guys. So this is the uh, special island. That's a beautiful building. Whoa. Sorry.
think, guys, we're gonna get a get ourselves a, a beer right now. And that over there is one of the, that's the statue I was talking about. Guys, we will continue. We drink to better world, the peace amongst neighbors. This is a special uh, little pool over here. And she looks like a nun, like a Catholic nun. And she was. Check it out, these buildings. But I would not want to live here. Trust me. Whoa. Come out Igor in Russia like what he's all about guys and that ship has arrived to his platform all right guys let's continue let's check out this uh, I think it's um, uh, a Russian statue to Helsinki there you go yes this monument of peace was uh, ah, this was made for by Finnish people for uh, in honor of peaceful living um, uh, neighboring peaceful living between Finland and Soviet Union so it's Finland's and Soviet Union's friendship uh, metaphor of friendship 1968 It's good that it's next to the American Embassy, so they remember geographical facts cannot be changed, guys, no matter what you're trying to do. Beautiful. A bit weird, but it's all right. She's looking towards Spensky Cathedral. Artyom says very nice things. <laughs> Pamela says get a search warrant. I do not consent to any searches. I know the stuff from uh, watching a lot of the American content about American rights. <sighs> so uh, Artyom says any big change is difficult. You seem to be a very smart and optimistic person, so I am sure you will be successful in Russia, God bless. In some ways I am, but in many ways I'm not optimistic in life in general. But I'm uh, entrepreneurial, so I guess I am always, as a minimum, on some level, uh, optimistic. I have to be. This is the place where the uh, 
the uh, the ship, the little boat travels between towards that restaurant. Like I said, most of the places are already closed, even though it's seven half past seven. The embankment is astonishing. I gotta tell you, it just is. So this here is a port. You guys saw me do a little few videos from Stockholm. So uh, if you travel by Celia Line, this is Olympic Terminal, which is the place where you leave leave off. The other one, the ship that we saw, the red, white cruises, Viking Line, traveling to, uh, traveling also to Stockholm and Tallinn. And yes, I can see by the faces from afar if the people are Russians or Slavic. They were Russian, Russian nice family. Oh my god guys speaking of traveling i absolutely love istanbul and turkish people simply uh, i gotta tell you just just simply love i wanna and i will uh, release some videos on my other channel from turkey about turkey uh, it's gonna be a lot of great stuff Maybe I will do another channel just for, you know, general uh, travel videos. Yes, more Russian language. Olympia Terminal. started off from there guys we started off from there two hours ago oh check out how many people are going towards the place everybody's walking towards the uh, the events event hills that's the hill we were on top of just a second ago well an hour ago but all of these are going towards the hill where were some events so there's like official events a certain for certain um, student organizations for example so they have exact spots where some uh, activity music and uh, you know events going on oh here's the bike Teşekkür ederim. Yes. Teşekkürler and uh, all that stuff. I want to learn uh, Turkish next. Check it out. You spin ski. Simply awesome. I'm going to take the bike.
guy's gonna go on a bike ride. And we're gonna go by the embankments, everybody. Push likes, support the channel, and let's go for a ride, everybody. Helsinki on a May Day Eve. Not as crazy as I thought, but still beautiful, right? I'm sure you agree. driving by taxis and Everybody's going. And the view is uh, beautiful. Well, it's okay. So we were a bit early, I gotta say, right? But we still saw the essentials. Just gonna get more people. A bit more alcohol, maybe. to the uh towards the park remember right here so i'm gonna be going there with my wife tomorrow as a tradition want to continue by the embankment we can go we can definitely go and enjoy the day together we can, i can travel by on the bike further or right between well you don't see it with this large wide screen but way over there we can pass a lot of interesting streets having some russian backgrounds I know that because I filmed them all. I know my history, guys. So comment down below if you want to continue by the embankment further towards a certain uh, metro station where I get off. But it's, you're going to see some beautiful embankment if you want to. Interesting. They have uh, Italian Finnish flag, so I guess there's like a Italian uh, maybe delegation drinking on May Day. So that's the eye. Hi, and she's not even here. The Amanda. Amanda is right over there behind these walls, but she's not now because she's under renovation, and they took her away so that people won't get it there when drunk. see what you guys answered then 
and yes I'm always driving with one hand even in St. Petersburg where this is like a normal day <laughs> I can do a city tour later on, guys. I can do a city tour later if you like these videos. I will process the commentary. But now we're gonna go uh, towards the... Uh, we will pass Uspensky Cathedral. We will pass this uh, beautiful... Uh, memorial to the great Empress Alexandra on the left side is so-called mini St. Petersburg the uh, embassy of Sweden much more interesting Alexander's Empress and Alexander's statue well memorial of her visit here where you go to Sverborg I can take you there if you like I thought you don't like because the channel is about Russia so I thought you'll do that want to see Russia more than that but I can expand here is the presidential palace for me still the original name Imperial Palace driving dangerously Right here, guys, the amazing Uspensky Cathedral. Oops, I'm driving on the red light. Shit. I didn't see the, the traffic light was turned away. People drinking, like I said, on the rocks, any way you look. guardhouse of the imperial of the uh, of the uh, presidential palace hello Scott welcome I'm in Finland for too long but I'm leaving to Russia soon in a few days finally I will go to I will go home finally I will go also to uh, Moscow and maybe some other places. Let's see. This is a bike road, so. So under the Uspensky Cathedral, a lot of nice bars. This is the beginning of Alexander Street in the honor of Russian Tsar Alexander the First. And partially I used to I used to say like to say in Alexander the Second. Students, uh, not students, people. And this is similar to a you know like a Soviet art. Very similar. We have few of those in in Finland as well. Uspensky Cathedral built out of the bricks of the fortress of the Orland which was blown up by the uh, British icebreakers in the back guys if you want to see some interesting Russian icebreaker uh, I went on icebreaker crossing like a year and a half ago or two years ago just write icebreaker Krasin, eager in Russia, and you will find the video. Because right there in the back you can see a couple of a couple of more icebreakers. And this is also a beautiful area. Places I cannot afford, but don't even care to. Because I want to live in the Primorsky area of St. Petersburg. The 
And sorry guys, keep on commenting down below. You're in the push lights. I'm gonna check out your comments in a bit. So you can see a lot of students anywhere you go. And we are far, we are in the middle of nowhere because this is not a place to hang around. And now, anywhere you go, there's a lot more people. Oh my God, can you see that? Hold up. So this is a little like uh, leisure park type of uh, island. And check out how many people is there. Anywhere with the sun, the sun shows, there's tons of people there. Hi, nice to see you guys, Scott. Anybody, keep on commenting. Uh, over here, by the way, um, right around the corner, you're gonna see uh, an old Russian barrack building, Kazarm building. This tall, big, uh, not the left one, but the one in the middle. That is the, uh, one of the many barrack buildings of Helsinki, of the Russian forces from the Imperial times. Beautiful. There's a lot of people over there. But uh, you get the point, so we're gonna show you some more interesting stuff. A lot of students now here. I guess some events are here as well. Beautiful. Oh man, I forgot that there's a huge construction work over there. We have to cross the streets. This here is the barrack building of Russia, transformed to to uh, finish later on.
Let's see how long my battery will live. So we'll finish when we can. Not so beautiful area. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna have a clear, clear route to this uh, Kala Satama fish port, so to speak. The name is fish. There's no fish there. <coughs> but uh, I guess I won't. We have to go through this uh, construction area. What a joy. everybody Ugh. can I change in the shifts the gear but some beautiful details here we're gonna go through this generic looking uh, bridge but we're gonna get a nice view well, okay view, not nice. The Statue of Peace given by Russian Moscow Soviet Moscow was over there, but they took it down. But I have a little piece of it. I took it. They cannot hold me down, and they won't. Guys, by the way, without using the word Russia or Igor, please comment what kind of channel's name, two part channel's names you can come up with. Maybe something with Traveler Man or, or whatever. Please comment. Tipsy, by the way, I gotta say. Just a little bit. Man, we turned the wrong side. We're gonna go through here. The plus side is that there's so little people in Helsinki. You can do all sorts of things. Legal turns and stuff and... Uh, and most of the times that they're not dangerous. You shouldn't, but still. This bar is called Yami. By the way, I like this area here. I'm gonna show you this. There's a lot of international little shops all around. So this is Asian food market. We have Indian. This place over here, like one block, it's like a, it's, it feels out of the ordinary. There's a, not all, but many of these shops are Asian or African. Check it out. Here's a Japanese Korean shop. This is uh, really nice. This is so un uh, not typical for Helsinki. Here is a, it's definitely probably owned by a foreigner. You can see it. We're gonna go around the corner, you're gonna see more. Indian market. I like this place for real. This is, I've loved it always since uh, 
I brought my all my rap clothes back in the 2004 maybe. Some vinyl shops. And this is hipster area beginning from this on forward on to the, the front. And there's a second hand shops over there. Check it out. I'm going to show you a couple of more places. Turkish airline. A lot of Asian. And also on the other side there you can see uh, Italian dry chilies over there. Here it is, uh, uh, Asian food as well, Asian markets. We won. All right, and here's, I think this is more or less like a, an African place over here. And I love it. This is even more to my liking. Gaia Beauty Salon and uh, hold up. here it is. Oriental Afro Foods, Maharaja. And there's a tons of like foreigners here. Taj Mahal Afro-Asian market. And there's like, a, you know, uh, bar barbers and stuff. Legendary barbershop, here it is. Awesome place. Global shop. By the way, I know, <laughs> he doesn't remember me, but that guy over there, the barber, it says legendary barbershop. It is legendary. I cut my hair back in the day over here as well. So it continues over there and over here. So guys, what you think about this live stream today? He's still open. That's what I like about real foreigners. Uh, they are open, they are working. Fins are closed. Uh, others are closed, but these shops are open. This barber shop is open. It's, uh, it's 8 a.m. on uh, May Day Eve, and it's open. Well, sort of hipster area, yeah, definitely. This place and Punavuari, and this is more urban, even more urban. It's called Kalia, which means which means rock, and uh, yeah. This has been a great live stream today. Scott, thank you so much. They're trying to change history. And Kualema. Okay, it's your name, right? But uh, Roaming Rapper. Uh, fun Traveling with Love. Is that the name? Uh, traveling Vadim. I'm not Vadim though. But I guess you, you cor answer correctly. Lady asks, what is Finland May Day? See, swap, Popeye, check it out. There's some party. There's some parties going on. Only in this area they push the door closed because there's all sorts of people here. I mean, I'm not joking. Finland's Mayday, Swam and Vappo. Ainsman, Vappo, Pyro. All right, guys, I gotta head home. I'm tired. If you like the stream, please write in the comments. I'll do a, a community post, take part of the uh, questionnaire there. Thank you guys. This is a made experience. I will think about if I stream tomorrow. I will think about it um, because tomorrow is the May Day. Uh, preparing my trip to uh, St. Petersburg. Check, checking out no other uh, supports. All right. All right. Thank you all from uh, Helsinki, Igor and Russia, showing you a bit different kind of streams as well. Happy to do it. Subscribe, push like, see you guys in the other videos. Happy May Day. It's a uh, worker's day. Keep on working. Thanks a lot.